what hello people that are here what i'm working on right now is a game that i have had in development for a long time it's called apples and asteroids you can see on the title and if you search it up on street on steam coming out october 24th but i started working on it in 2020 with uh just playing around on um on uh photoshop or not photoshop but basically just drawing pixel art and it developed into a whole platform game and i'd like to demo it for you if you haven't seen it yet very simple platformer where you're this guy and what you have to do is avoid these asteroids and collect these apples seems simple at first but um an interesting part about this game is that as you collect more apples the game gets progressively more difficult and I'll try to showcase that as best I can here for the purposes of this stream I'm gonna go through all of the code development and all the different sort of ideas that I had wait whoa and yeah, this is why we're developing live because sometimes bugs like this happen. I don't know how he got stuck in the ground, but we're going to figure that out. Simple platformer that I had special things. So like bananas give you extra verticality on your jumps and you can float a little bit for a little while. And you can see on the top left, your health is represented by those five purple hearts and you regenerate hearts every time you collect 10 apples. But yeah, I like to develop these. Kind of, I'm already at 48. So I collected the clock and the clock is another power up, which um, slows down asteroids for a certain period of time. Yeah, you can see that as part of the level increasing, I'm going to try not to ramble too much, but as part of the level increasing, the asteroids come much faster and they're a little harder to react to. So how I figured best for me is I just keep jumping. <laughs> And it, uh, I mean, let's take a little bit of let's take a little bit of a look at the code here. Let's start from the player script. The central character in this game, you have run speed. These are constants that I wanted to have set, but at the same time, I may change these. So I guess they're not really constants; they're just variables that I have set. Oh, these are blinking settings, so you know that um, when you get hit by a projectile in most video games you are um, temporarily invincible from further damage because like why punish you further for making a mistake apple settings apple count and this is the important thing this is the current count of apples and this is the maximum count of apples this means that we don't this game will not spawn more than three apples at once or at least that is not expected behavior so here we spawn an apple um, this Apple prefab is an Apple model that we will we'll instantiate on the stage and we figure out the Apple's position using this method here that we'll go down to. And basically this is what this method is in charge of just creating the Apple and finding a new position to put it. All right. So I got to showcase my good friend and I guess now partner. Romeo music's uh, music in this game. Let me do that by pausing these cool tunes you're hearing and uh, unmuting the audio here and uh, get ready. Let me make sure that it's not too loud on the stream. stand out from the characters and I want them to fundamentally be like their own object. What that means is that um, my character is wearing pink and yellow. The apples are red. The asteroids are gray. And the bananas are yellow. 
they're distinct, they stand out, and they're hard to miss. I'm thinking that maybe it would make sense if I are make if I'm making spikes for them to be gray. I'm thinking that. That's what that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling I'm feeling like it needs to be gray. Look at that thing. That's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want. Steps. So you can see here the edges are indicated by like two lines, two dark solid color lines. Then three, then two, then three, then two, then three. So I can try starting off with that. Also, you do, you do, thank you for tuning into the stream. Since you mentioned cannons, could you possibly vary the speed of the asteroids to increase as you gain more apples? Yeah, that's exactly what acts, what happens. Uh, let me quickly go back to the code here. Um, I got this um, file here that uh, the level changes based off of how many apples you collect. And if I go to, where do I have the level saved here? the asteroid speed is affected by the level that you're currently at. Okay, let me finish the pixel art and then I'll look at it and then decide from there. kind of scary those are big that's a big <laughs> hazard to dodge i don't know i feel like that might be a little scary but hey what would be cool is what's that sound oh that was scary that was the music I was like, then the edges of the spikes might need to be a little more like I'll think about it. I'll think about it. have two versions of this and oh oh i have a really cool idea you like it oh that's cool and the fire emoji too thank you i appreciate that <coughs> what i could do is have two different versions of these of these spikes and the flicker between them that actually seems like the plan and then i'll alternate between like how much yellow and how much orange the direction this is so much cooler than just boring gray spikes even though i feel like Looking at it, like I feel like it, it fits, but it's the safe option to make it look. Okay. Oh, I missed it. Subtlety is good. Yeah, yeah. So I want to uh, quickly, as a last step, um, kind of preview that kind of effect. I'm gonna need to like actually develop it, but um, I did something similar. When did I, when did I do flashing? Okay, I do something similar with. Um, for his running animation, it took a while, but I followed this uh, guide on, where is it? It's the best way to show. Cause it's just a flickering effect. And a flickering effect is basically just switching between two. 
So what I can do is I can quickly make use this hazard script that we started writing back here. Um, this works. Oh wow, that is way too fast. <laughs> and also like the mini one is showing up too. Well, actually, it's not even that bad. Uh, invincibility in some form. I was thinking of like a like a firefighter suit or something that you could collect. It'd have to be really rare though. But it also have to be a suit like a suit of armor, and it protects you from everything: fire, asteroids. Oh wow, we got a, we got a game right now. If I add that, oh snap! I might actually do that next year. You know what? Yeah. Next stream is gonna be, well, maybe not necessarily. I still wanna do some of the basketball simulations, but I think this is a good start. Uh, uh, comment. <laughs> yeah, no, I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's fun. It's fun, like, making stuff. It's tough sometimes to make it on, make it live, because a lot of times I do stuff, I'm just silent and staring at my screen. So, uh, yeah. Justin, I don't know if I can help you with that. But uh, yeah, so next stream that we work on apples and asteroids, where we're gonna be working on the details that I mentioned before. And um, yeah, gonna get this ready for its release. It's gonna be exciting, great stuff. Okay, that is pretty much all.